The International Committee of the Red Cross says at least 30,000 people have fled rebel-held areas in the northern city of Aleppo over the past few days. The people fled rebel-held areas in eastern Aleppo and headed to government-controlled parts west of the city. And countless others are expected to have escaped in other directions. Ala Abraham reports. Heavy rainfalls over Syria on Thursday meant more difficulties for thousands of civilians fleeing eastern Aleppo and trying to seek refuge in the government-controlled western parts of the city. The director of health services in Aleppo tells CCTV that government facilities are accommodating over 12,000 people, while another 5,000 have settled in with relatives of their own in the government-controlled western sector of Aleppo. Meanwhile, the Syrian army continues with its military operation to regain remaining rebel districts, but as the offensive goes on, it's expected that more people will try and uh, leave uh, eastern Aleppo, where nearly 100,000 civilians are still trapped by the fighting. Many people in uh, eastern Aleppo would like to leave, according to local sources, but they are afraid of being detained by authorities. In light of recent reports that the Syrian government have held some of the young men, almost hundreds of young men, who tried to leave uh, eastern Aleppo in screening centers until their identities are confirmed. The International Committee for the Red Cross in Syria told CCTV in an interview that uh, it is working with the Syrian government and is very close to gaining access to these detainees. The International Aid Agency also said that it's also working with the Syrian government to gain access to rebel-held eastern parts of Aleppo uh, uh, in order to evacuate the sick and the wounded. The United Nations estimates that there are 400 cases in need of immediate treatment in the rebel-held districts of Aleppo and these cases need to be evacuated as soon as possible. Allah Ibrahim, CCTV, Damascus.